welcome back to uh, the birth of a race car, the improvement of a 1275 MG Midget en route to the uh, 2022 MG Owners Club Speed Series. Uh, in this episode, we're going to cut out all of the rot. The first job then is going to be cutting out the rot uh, and it's going to be a fairly extensive cutback uh, on this particular side, probably more so than the other side. Uh, so I'm going to start uh, by going after this, um, but it's important that everything aligns up afterwards and I've only got one thing I can use, which is this suspension hole here that seems to be in the right place. So I'm going to use that as a reference point for the floor. Uh, the, the sills are not in a good enough condition to use as a reference um, and the other thing I'm going to use as a reference is this lower edge along the chassis for the, uh, for, for the sh floor replacement that I've got. It's, it's what I did on that side, I did that and, and used uh, one of these hangers points here as a reference point and everything came off that and uh, that re-establishes the, the lip on the, on the, to allocate the inner sill to and then build, build out there afterwards. So, that's going to be my reference point. Um, so let's start the cutting. A quick note on safety equipment. Uh, really, really can't stress enough the importance of safety equipment when you're chopping away. Angle grinders are lethal bits of kit. Uh, it really do make sure that uh, uh, you treat them with, with respect. Uh, make sure the guards are kept on. I know it's kind of a popular option to take the guard off for better access, but it's only got a snatch and, and it will take your finger off. You know, be really careful with that. Uh, you need breathing apparatus, especially if you're in a confined space. There's a lot of dust and it'll soon block you, your sinuses and you'll be feeling that for weeks afterwards. Uh, goggles or some kind of face protection. You know, you've only got two sets of eyes, so let's look after those. And some gloves as well to protect your hands from the vibrations and the sparks. So uh, please make sure you wear your safety equipment. So at the bottom of the floor, you can see I've made a start here by wire brushing back the chassis to identify where all the spot welds are. And then get an eight millimeter spot weld drill and drill those all out. I don't actually need to do more than that because all of the floor is going to be slit across the bottom and the cross member is going to be replaced as well. So I'm going to be cutting across here everything else is, uh, is going to go. So we've cut away the most of the floor here that you can see, a few reference points. Uh, note that the door has been braced, so as we take the door out and start chopping away, hopefully we can maintain that gap for the door for later fitment. Uh, the braces I applied on the other side appear to have done the job very well, so uh, important that you put those in, just tack well those on, they, that should be enough. Uh, here, I've used this block here as a reference point for the cut. I know I can rebuild uh, the inner side here. I've got the hinge repair kit and the, and the A panel repair, so that will all be rebuilt at the end once the sills are in. Uh, the floor has come out. I've just got this last little piece to take out. Uh, it's been badly welded down here, so that will need a little bit of work just to get this final piece off here to expose that area. Uh, the inner toe board is quite a bad area. I found about four layers of metal here. So uh, having to take this apart piece by piece, um, but the plan is to get rid of all of this section here, take out this, uh, and then do the inner arch and be cutting that down this join here uh, and then replacing all of that. I'll be keeping this inner board. So uh, uh, that's, that's fairly good metal. So we'll be, we'll be welding onto that. front's been cut off now and uh, all this will be replaced. Uh, what I've been careful to do here is leave a lip along the edge here, a lip around the top uh, and, and the, the front this will be folded over so this needs to be further dressed back and this little piece here. These are all reference points and will just help with the, uh, the plug welding once the panels start to go back on. Uh, what I've noticed here is as I've cut it out there's quite a bit of uh, corrosion just around this bottom part of the hanger. Uh, so all this is going to need to be rebuilt. Uh, you can see all the, 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 the tow board here that cut that out and we'll be drilling out uh, the spot welds uh, for when the floor goes in to allow a new tow board to be put back in there as well. So what I've done is cut back here and the new piece will be cut out to suit. Trim the edge back uh, and tidied up the front. So 
Now if we take our repair panel, that will fit in. Need a bit of fitting and tidying up, but that's ready to be fitted on here. Going to start on this rear section now and uh, cut all this away so I can fit a new uh, inner bulkhead here. This is completely rotten away, so that's going to have to go. Uh, so we'll be cutting that away to create uh, the area where the floor will go so that can be all mated up and started to be, be fitted. Uh, and I've got to cut away all of the spring hanger. That's not going to be easy because it's quite well embedded into the bodywork. Uh, and then cut away this section here. Uh, not too bothered about this panel here. There's a bulkhead, there's a rear bulkhead repair panel that I've got for that, so I'm not too bothered about that. And what I have done here is offered up already the uh, repair panel across here and drawn the line where that comes so I don't cut uh, too far into the bodywork. And I've cut a centimetre down from that to, uh, to allow for the overlap for, for plug welding again. Uh, so all of this will come off as well. And as I said before, I mean, I just want to leave this little section of metal here that's part of the shock absorber mount, as that's what will be a reference point for the new spring hanger. Well, I'm really pleased with progress so far. Uh, what I've had to do here is use the spot weld drill to, to drill out all of the supporting member spot welds up here, up here and along here. Uh, and then this whole panel has been able to be cut out, exposing the, uh, the spring hanger support. All this is gonna need to be cut out. I'm gonna keep this. Uh, so next, I'm gonna move on and try and cut away this and the spring hanger, uh, leaving just the, uh, the suspension mount uh, plate that comes into it here. A Couple of hours later and it's all stripped back, uh, a lot of Small detail work, spot drilling, cutting out small sections. Uh, as you can see, there's parts of the rear bulkhead that are going to need some patching with good metal to be able to start the rebuild, together with this section underneath the wheel arch. Uh, so we'll be putting some good metal in there. Uh, this section here, found that has needed to come out. So uh, I'll, as we do the front bulkhead repair, that will get covered. And then I've used a line just above the top uh, to cut down and all of this will come in with the new bulkhead repair. Um, here's the new spring hanger, as you can see there, it's brought in part so what will happen is that will, that will go in there and that's going to be the first piece of metal that goes back in and uh, if you remember back at the beginning we used this hole here uh, as the datum point for the floor so that will uh, that will use the dimensions we've got to get that in the right place. Uh, we'll patch that in, and then the front bulkhead will be able to go in over the top of that. <laughs> 